Morning Force, I'm Reagan. And I'm Liam. And today's date is Thursday, October 24th, and on today's show we will have all your Wildcat news and sports. As you all know, here at Forest, students get involved with many events on and off campus. Especially our host of students who go out and shadow in the mornings, but last Friday they got involved on campus. We are pleased to share with you that Friday's blood drive resulted in 111 people donating. The blood donated at our school will likely be transfused into a patient when within 48 to 72 hours. Thank you to everyone that donated. Three people can benefit from one donation. That's true, and Raylan has more on how our students helped others. Last Friday, our school had their very own blood drive, and it gave students the opportunity to help those in need. I think it's good for kids around the community to have an opportunity to give blood and just try to put their own effort into helping people's lives around the world. One of the volunteers makes this event possible by helping out student donors. Um, I looked over the patients to make sure that they weren't going to pass out from giving blood, and I checked on their well-being, make sure they weren't overheating, make sure they had food before they went and gave blood. Montana helps out her peers and feels it is part of her job to make sure that the blood drive goes as smoothly and safely as possible. So we do it because, you know, it's like our job to go out and help people, especially in the medical stuff. So this is a big part of our medical stuff, is treating people and giving them opportunities. And these are the opportunities that the students are willing to get involved in. I think giving blood allows our community to have an opportunity to like, help people around the community and anyone who needs blood can get it from people who are willing to help. All in all, students feel as though they are making an impact in their own life and the lives of others. I give blood because I know it can save up to three people's lives and that just makes me feel good and that I can like do my own part. This has been Raylan Terrell and Leslie Vinson reporting for WCAT. Also, just a heads up, our JROTC program will be sponsoring the annual canned food drive, benefiting Interfaith. The drive is going on until November 15th. Not only has JROTC been working hard, ASHA has also been planning their third annual pet supply drive. Let's find out more. Hey Wildcats, Astro Club is having its third annual pet supply drive in support of Marion County Humane Society and Marion Animal Services. Donations include pedigree puppy and dog food, Purina kitten chow, Purina one indoor advantage adult cats, clay and lung clump and cat litter, liquid laundry detergent, plastic totes with lids, cotton balls, air fresheners, greenies, pill pockets, post-it notes, paper towels, spray bottles, clippers, dog and cat brushes and combs, AA 9 volt batteries, cat and dog toys, synthetic chew or kongs only, Pooper scoopers. Please bring donations to Miss Sapp's room at C218. Hey Liam, have you noticed that Forrest has been getting more involved with soft scales? Yes, I have. They're extremely important in everyday life. Use them each and every day when you're here at school. I agree. Let's take a look at how our school uses soft skills. An important soft skill employers look for is a positive attitude. A positive attitude is a mental attitude that sees the good in any situation. It's important to keep a positive attitude in the workplace as it can help you cope better in a stressful situations as well as communicate and get along with others better. It's great to see that students are getting more involved with soft skills here at school. That's true. Even though Halloween is a big part of October, it is also important to bring awareness to breast cancer during this month. That's right, and a way that everyone can do this is by buying a pink wristband from the American Teen Cancer Society for only one dollar. Also seniors, last chance to get your photo taken for the FHS 2019-2020 yearbook is Wednesday, October 30th from, the, from 1 to 2 at the SWI Ocala Studio. Speaking of October 30th, it is also an early release. We will be right back. On a 
another note, all boys interested in playing lacrosse, preseason workouts and conditioning are going on now on Mondays and Wednesdays. You must get your physical paperwork and pink card turned in as soon as possible. If you do not get them turned in, you will not be able to participate. Any questions, see Coach Strasser. Have you purchased your yearbook yet? No, I haven't, but I'll be sure to get it. Did you know that the yearbook covers all the sports from the school year? Yeah, I did. Emma Beth has all the information on sports going on right now. Good morning, Forrest. I'm Emma Beth with your sports news for today. This Friday, our varsity football team has a game against Edgewater High at home at 7. Let's see how our boys played at the game against Santa Fe this past Friday. Hey Forrest, Emma Beth here at Mikey Kelly Stadium where our boys just went up against Santa Fe in a very tough game. Our team did well on actually moving the ball because if you've seen the previous games, it's hard for us to move the ball, but once we got it done, started driving down the field, which is pretty good. Uh, well, we fought really hard when we were uh, behind. We really came back and showed a lot of guts and played great in the second half. Our boys fought hard in the second half, scoring 13 unanswered points. Uh, we did really good in the second half. We fought back really hard. Um, offensively, they had some great plays, and uh, give credit to the O-line. They did really good um, throughout the game, and so uh, defense played hard. Uh, we wanted to come out stronger so it would be flat so we can come back and win this game, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Well, we had a few kids that weren't allowed to play in the first half uh, due to suspension, and they were able to come back, which helped a lot. But also, uh, it was a short week. We played on Thursday. We had a lot of rain on Wednesday. So we were just a little behind the eight ball with practice. So I think that first half kind of got us awake and got us ready to go. Uh, I mean, we just tried to stay cool. I mean, we've been in this situation before. Unfortunately, we've lost by one twice now, so we haven't been able to come on top yet. But um, hopefully soon we'll be able to. This has been Emma Beth reporting for WCAT. Now back to your anchors. Also this Friday, there is a pink out pep rally in the morning before school in the courtyard. Miss Miller is selling shirts for $10 in the activities office. Also, congratulations to our boys golf team for advancing to the state championships next week. Also, congratulations to a Wildcat freshman golfer, Megan Griggs, on an excellent season, making it to regionals on her first year is awesome. On Saturday, our varsity cross-country team will be having their district meet Saturday morning at Santa Fe College at 8 a.m. That's all your sports news for today. Once again, I'm Emma Beth. Now back to your anchors. As you all know, there have been changes taking a place across our campus. These wall wraps are bringing our past and our present together, and it is a great way to show our student pride throughout the years. Let's go to Ashley, who has more on these changes. With the new nine weeks brings many new changes to the school that celebrates forest history. Basically, we came up with the idea of it's history in the halls. So we wanted to give the hallways some color, some life, and with that we also wanted to continue to express our history of Forest High School, where we came from and where we are now. We don't want to do away with what has happened before. There's a lot of history of Forest High School with where they came from. School is about history. You have yearbooks that keep a history book throughout their lives and you get to go back and look and see and have the memories that are involved. And so you don't ever want to lose that, and that was our intention of actually trying to beautify the school. Students enjoy seeing where we came from and the possibilities for the future. I think they're cool, honestly. Um, I wouldn't say that they're like any big difference to the school, but I just think that you can look at them from like a viewpoint of that's how it was in the old, like older, compared to like how they are now. The difference between like them being left and right, like the left and right one, so. The left ones, they're kind of like the old vintage things that like you look at and you think, wow, we came from like such a long period of time ago from like being just Ocala High, moving from where MTI currently is to here now. It's a big difference as compared to what we are now and where we are. Reporting for WCAT, this has been Ashley Glenn. Another great way to show off your school pride at sporting events is by getting spirit shirts. I agree. Freshman and sophomore class shirts are in in the library. Ms. Polars is doing her best to deliver them, but students can also stop by and get them. That's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCIT on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Once again, I'm Liam. And I'm Reagan. Have a great day, Forest, and like always, go, go Cats! Cats.